think if God tells you no, you're getting punished. Instead of if God tells you no, he's protecting you. You think if God doesn't allow you to get the position you prayed for, that somehow he hasn't heard your cry. But he actually is answering the prayer you didn't know how to form in your lip with your lips by not letting you get into a position that you would be locked into because he knows you're a people pleaser. And if you got that position, you wouldn't leave there for 15 years and three years from now. He's going to open up the actual destiny step that you need. So he told you no now to lead you to the place of purpose. But if you desire comfort at the expense of desiring the cut, not from anybody just regular. I'm talking about from God. Haircut by the end of this service by the faith and crazy faith of God will be sharp Because what he's doing to me right now is He's cutting me the little micro cuts over and over and over and over and over again But what he's doing right now is shaping me into the image of What he sees for me? Because I can't see it for myself Anyone still seated in that congregation at this point should be embarrassed even the Bible says there is time for everything. Why wait till it's time to preach to cut your hair? What kind of disrespect is that to his congregation? If you needed a cut before church, it could have waited. Don't try to change the sermon into something about a haircut. The sermon would have still been heard and understood without all of this. If you really have to do all of that, you are already admitting that the message is ineffective and irrelevant therefore requires fanfare and theatrics to prove relevance. The day I stopped taking this guy serious was the day he spat on his palm and then rubbed the spit on his members eyes and forehead. All these things going on in the church now points to one thing. Know God for yourself. Read the Bible. Pray. Let God speak to you. Don't allow your knowledge of God be based solely on what your pastor says. Pastors are humans and they can lead you astray. But as long as you know God for yourself, you'll be fine. Church in this social media era is so wild. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.